<laughs> hey, indeed, we are here again. And I must open this on my phone so that I can keep up to date with all your lovely chats. Yes, here we are. Who is here? Jose. Oops, that's not Jose. This is Jose. Happy Friday, guys. Hey. Weekend is my favorite end. Yeah, it's a good end. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Friday. Alana. Tom Chan says, yalla. Indeed. Lacho says, oh, happy Friday, but I'm working on shift. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Dave is back. Ooh. Naziri. Lagoida. I think was here last week, no? Oh, I don't know. You, you can ask. I think so. Yeah, let us know. Caristo. Tigers or bunnies? Or elephants, as Dave has already got in Elephants? That. Yeah. What's elephants supposed to be? We do a thing here. If you are new, please put a rabbit in the chat. And if you have been before, put a tiger. And if you're Dave, put an elephant. Because he's <laughs> from Colchester. Or if anyone else is from Colchester, then Is yes. that like an elephant area? But yeah. Colchester? I think so. Yeah. All right. Ooh, look at this. Some tigers. Hello, everyone. Another tiger. Oh. Hey. Lovely. More tigers. Any rabbits this week, I wonder. Well, Could be. while you are letting us know if you are a rabbit or a tiger, where is Colchester in the UK? Yeah. Not sure exactly where. Yeah. So, I... <laughs> somewhere south. Is it like Essex? I, thought... I think so. Uh... Not sure. Let us know. Ooh, we have Colchester Zoo. And they use elephant statues all over town. Crikey. Oh, I see. A oh. rabbit. Hey, Yay. welcome. A Tom Chance got a bear. This could become something big. Is he from Berlin? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, but lovely to see you all. Thanks. Oh, there you go. Dave says Essex. See? I... Yeah. Oh, look at that. My, my British geography is actually not that bad. Yeah, very good. Okay, if... I better share the old screen. Yeah. Just realised the mic was really far away. And I know I could do with a better mic. It's in progress. Anyway, here is Google Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know, we are from scarimba.com, which is yeah. a place you can come to learn to code. Yes, it's true. Ah. And um, we need a setup tour. Yes, I meant to take a picture of that because Lacho asked a couple of weeks ago. Mm. It, it's in the back line. No, back line? Pipeline. Some kind of Backlog. line. Back <laughs> Backlog and pipeline back line. <laughs> yeah, that thing. <laughs> um, anyway, what to answer your question, Michael, what we are coding is... Yeah, I asked it before the stream, so... You didn't. <laughs> I didn't? No, you never did. It's a lovely surprise for you every time. Well, no, I, I asked it before, like, well, 30 seconds before the stream. I was like, oh, yeah, by the way, what are we, what are we coding tonight? Okay. Well, it's an analog, oh, that didn't help, clock. Analog clock? Yeah. How are we going to code an analog clock? Well, that's what I'm hoping you can answer. <laughs> but but it, 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 it's, like, physical. Well, no, it's on the computer. Oh, you mean like it's like it's we're gonna code the clock that's got like um, basically clock arms, but we're gonna code those. Well, I say that, but for some weird reason, oh, that's the wrong one. That's why. This, yes, exactly. Here we go. Clock arms provided. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, that's good because I don't have to worry about coding those because you know CSS no, no, is not that, one. That would that would be a pain, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, yes, and I have made a plan. Allow me to find it. Okay. Yeah. Clock plan. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Boulders. View. Zoom in. So this is the plan. Okay. Wire up hour and minute hands. Okay. Okay, yes. And then wire up the second hand. If it seems like it's not going to take long, I think we can do it. Otherwise, I think there's more interesting things we can do. Namely, 
display date, including day of the week and year, and add a cuckoo. Add a cuckoo? <laughs> what? A cuckoo, you know, like a cuckoo clock. Wow. Come on, um, Michael, we've been Yeah, 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 I know. I, I'm like, how, how are you supposed to do that? For those among you who are not familiar with the concept of a cuckoo clock, here it is. Yeah. And then on the hour, oh, word. that's actually not a cuckoo. But <laughs> something comes out and goes, moo moo, or, or whatever. Yeah. We'll just use an emoji. Oh, my God. That is actually, I have no idea how to do any of that. Oh, I wish I discovered this a little bit earlier. <laughs> so well, yeah, it's research. been marketed for the whole week now, Michael. So everyone else needs it. Oh, yeah. So you have... Okay. The cool. second hand is the third hand. And it's brand new. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fred says, <laughs> stretch goal, dragging the dial to set the time. Crikey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an expensive wow. clock you found. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I reckon we should get started. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, crumbs. Okay. Uh, I didn't know I did that. Well, I mean, let's let's now have a look. Let's run what... through what we've got. Now, this. Yeah, what do you have? is a challenge I did not create. Ryan created it. Okay. Yeah. We have a div. For some reason, it's called digital clock. <laughs> Let's just ignore that. Um, okay. Index.js has this clock template, which is kind of baffling. Uh, get clock template, uh, so you say, where does this ID come from? Oh, clock template, uh, so you have zero is a variable. So clock ID, clock zero, class clock, zero second hand. Okay, well, never mind. Um, okay, so it's basically a bunch of divs that says. Um, Can we split these into separate lines? Will that break it? So empty space shouldn't really affect it at all. So I suppose, yeah, you can. So then it would be. Oh, yeah, okay. That, that's actually a little bit easier to read, yeah. Um, so, the, oh, right, we've got the clock, and then second hand, minute hand, hour hand, yeah. and the clock center is just the um, kind of dot thing, that yeah. the nail. And then you have stuck clock, and it says get clock template, and it passes it a zero. So if you pass that, uh, like, 15, they should all move to the site, right? No. <laughs> uh, because there's a, it's just an ID, it doesn't actually do anything. Yeah. ID, well, yeah, because you have ID clock, ID equals, uh, sorry, I'll just try. I mean, we can change this. Yeah, so it says. I'm not married to this code. So it says, yeah. Maybe because right I don't understand yeah. it. They have. S Oh, uh, I see. So basically, his idea is to, because you have start clock, his idea is like to what? Update this or that? Oh, anyway. There, there's also like this uh, import now from utility chess. So there's yeah, another Yeah, that's importing the dates. Uh, so you actually wire it up to the actual time right now. Yeah. What else? Yeah, well, that kind of <laughs> throws, yeah, that throws Freud's idea of, uh, like, yeah, drag and set it, because it's like, well, if it's if it's already connected to your browser, you don't have to actually set it. Oh, what a shame. That would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, the first thing we need to do is figure out how we can move these hands. But to answer your question, yeah. Alana, is this a weekly web dev challenge? It is an old one, because the current one lasts for two weeks. But we already did it last Friday. Oh, right, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now we have weekly weather charges uh, once every two weeks, but we have Friday every week. <laughs> we need something to do. Those Fridays, too many of them. How about adding a ticking sound? Yeah, sounds good. Wow. Yeah, we can do that. Flaming heck. Yeah, that's a hard one. I'm realizing that now. <laughs> yeah, Leanne, hate, Leanne hates ticking sound, and uh, I'm not a fan of. Okay, Michael, we need to move something. <laughs> <laughs> How do we rotate the hands? Uh, I don't know. Well, what's the CSS like? 
I would imagine you do it. That's what somebody says. The, you would imagine you have to do it with CSS. A transform going to use the ID to rotate the hands. Our hand, yeah. Minute hand. So there was like, can you go back to the JS? Which one? The index JS. So you have the ID clock, like clock dash some number dash second hand, minute hand, hour hand. So can you go to CSS and see it? Oh, it's just an ID, sorry. Yeah, but I think we would use that, like Dave says here. Uh, what does Dave say? Dave says, isn't the CSS transform going to use the ID to rotate the hands? Well, you see, here's the problem. I do not know what that means. <laughs> can we have a link to this challenge? The other Dave says, yes, you can. Here it is. Yeah. You see, I don't know what that it's means. It's transform rotate x number of degrees. And there is a hint, JS. Calculate rotation with seconds. Degrees equals 270 plus 6 times seconds. What? With, okay. With minutes. I was hoping you'd understand this side of things. <laughs> well, no, because it's got something to do with like rotation CSS. Can you actually go to CSS and show me? Well, because you understand what transform rotate means. Can you? I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Can you just at least show me with CSS uh, what's... What's the name of it? Come on. Clock. Well, why does it need to be an ID? Oh, it doesn't need to be an ID, does it? No, I do it with IDs. Yeah, but what is this? What is this? Wow. <laughs> OK. Do you understand what it means with that transform thing? Yeah. OK. Can you just at least show what? Uh... OK, I'll do it on the class then. Yeah. Um, here. And we'll figure out from there. Will we, though? I don't know. Second hand. OK, yeah. Transform, rotate, I don't know, 180. Deck. OK. So it needs to move. It, it, it can't just be rotated because that rotates around the center, center axis. Yeah, but some clocks do. Oh, no, actually, there is a CSS thingy that can do that. Yes, you have to move it along. Oop, wrong place. CSS, uh, transform origin it is, I think. Transform origin. Um, yeah. So we're going to have to fiddle with this. I'm beginning to understand why not many people did this challenge. <laughs> uh, what else can you have? All right. So, oops. I need this. Now, can you slow down the notch? Okay. Yeah, I, I really, I, I don't follow it. You don't need to, Mike. <laughs> Actually, that doesn't need to change, does it? I don't think. It's this one. 50%. Oops. 100%? <laughs> this is awful. What are we going to do? Okay, calm down. Read the docs. <laughs> yeah. X axis, Y axis. So we want the X. X axis, don't we? Y axis stays the same. X axis, we got to change. Well, firstly, which one do they mean by X, Y, and Z? Because sometimes they are labeled differently. No, X is the flat one, Michael. No. <laughs> This. I, I, yeah, is it horizontal or vertical? Yes, it's horizontal. Horizontal, because uh, it's horizontal. Well, so I mean, yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't know. Maybe, so maybe other, I, look. Then you just do ten, 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 and then what happens? No, there's only two. Please. Michael, there, there's the, only two are possible. Well, no, the, the, in the transform origin, the, that says that you can also do Z. Look, there's the third argument. Well, what is Z? That's actually five, apparently, you can do. Okay, what's the chat saying? Yeah. Yeah. X is a cross. X is a cross. 
Yeah, true. 25% says Jonathan. Let's try right. that. Okay. Yeah, that's quite good, don't you think? But really, I don't think we need to worry too much about this. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just 25%. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, Z is depth, oh, like a Z axis. <sighs> anyway, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. that's that. Good news. What we need to do? Well, yeah, twenty-five. But Michael, we don't need to worry because some clocks they actually have the hand like speared through the middle, don't they? This is the least of our problems. Okay. Uh, yeah, I suppose. I suppose once we can figure out how to actually rotate them, like yes, that. then we can faff around. Oh God. Okay, right, yeah, what? Sorry. Oh, absolutely. Uh, oh, my giddy aunt. Right. <sighs> right. Um, so you can have now. What I don't understand is why is it, why does it have that clock ID interpolated? I mean, we could just change it so it doesn't. Oh, well, no, but it's clearly some kind of like a hint to, to actually solve it can you have like dynamic IDs that can you actually google it see it says dynamic IDs <laughs> yeah. it's nice to see other people get flustered with code other than myself <laughs> oh yeah oh, yeah. oh <laughs> yeah. need to use transform rotate with the seconds formula seconds formula being um yeah, well, I don't understand this. What this? I can see that somehow you probably pass, yeah, you probably pass the seconds into it, and that somehow does it. Can you just Google CSS dynamic IDs, and then we'll see what it means. CSS. What? Yeah, what is dynamic IDs? Dynamic CSS ID names. In an application, uh, generate dynamic with a D at the end, for example, and so on. How can I write the ID in the system so I can apply style to it? Um, okay, so do they do different things, different IDs? Uh, for the suggestion that you should use classes for this functionality, <laughs> uh, you can instead use attribute value begins with selector. What? <laughs> Woo. Okay. Handle CSS with dynamic IDs. I don't know, actually, no. I don't know. ID is simply a parameter passed to the get clock template function. Says yes. Dave. You can see the number 15 being passed into it. Yes, but then some they actually he isn't string interpolating it either. It's just isn't he? I actually know who he is because it's it's over here. Looks like he is. Yeah, yeah. So he's string interpolating it into so this ID becomes clock dash fifteen and so on. But what's fifteen? Well, I'm, well, okay. So I'm passing fifteen here. It's an argument to this function. And then it basically creates an HTML. Uh, yeah, and the ID is clock-15. Yeah, so this is the HTML that gets interpolated. So it basically creates this. See, it says clock 15 seconds, clock 15 minutes, 15 hour hand, and so on. So it's what's like you the pass... use of that? I don't know, but I feel like that's somehow like a clue to how you should, 15. should probably try to solve it or whatever. I don't know. Or maybe it's like. If we had I really don't know, but... clock 15 minute hand. Oh, I see what you mean. It's like, 
I have a feeling that, like, well, firstly, this hint over here basically says uh, 270 plus 6 multiplied by seconds. So if it's... <laughs> Build a sundial instead. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you just use set interval to update the ID every second? Uh, yeah, but what I don't understand is what's the point of these IDs? Like, why, why do we have this? Why do we have these IDs? What are they meant to do? How do we grab a dynamic ID in the you know CSS to update? There might be some information in the scrim. Oh. But first, I'm going to. Oh, so like if you listen to what? Too fast. Can you make it louder? Oh, no, not this again. <laughs> what? Oh, this crap. <laughs> oh, right. It's a double L. Oh, for the love of God. You can't change it now. Now I'm trying to get rid of a dock uh, on the screen. Yeah, okay. there you are. Anyway. Web Dev Challenge, where every week you get a small chance to improve your web development skills and flex your. Let's go ahead and take a look. So your job this week is pretty simple. We have this. <laughs> <laughs> is it though? <laughs> and you know what they say about a broken clock? It's only right twice a day. And at this point, it would be midnight and noon in your local time zone. But using the superpowers you have with JavaScript, you'll be able to make this clock show whatever time it is at any given moment in time and have it update every single second. Your final product might look something like this, though I know that you all style it in your own unique ways. I'm really excited to see what you come up with in that regard. There are, of course, a few specific skills that are being focused on here. Things you might find useful are CSS transforms to do the animations, JavaScript dates to figure out what time it is at any given moment, set timeout and or set interval, which you might use to rotate the hands of the clock, and of course, the basics of HTML and CSS in JavaScript. <laughs> If you do find you need a refresher on CSS, so over 8,000 students in timing functions okay. and so timing animations and uh, much, uh, much I more. think I should do that CSS animations course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the animations are the issue, though. This is getting overcomplicated. You can animate the clock using a few functions and variables. Yeah. I vote we do that, Michael, because otherwise it's going you to think, be an hour You think we should, we should just ditch the yeah. whatever IDs it is? Uh, yeah, fair enough. I totally do. Uh, I don't know what this is, but anyway. So basically, what we need to do is build out this as per the you know thingy we just, just copy, saw. copy and paste it from there. Well, you can't really. You can. Okay, maybe you can. Yes. This. <laughs> Oh, for the... Okay. The only reason I'm clapping is because I know that you've got a thing about you. You can select multiple lines and just hit. I tap. know you can do ah. that. I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Probably. You should. We should probably remove these IDs. Yeah. I don't reckon we need the IDs. No. Okay. Save. Okay. Okay. Right, so get clock temp template. I will yeah. comment out. Start clock. Yeah. Uh, I, I reckon we're going to need, aren't we? Uh, so, yeah, you can probably start the clock, but it's basically think. like. Uh, I don't really know why. I, I, I prefer this to be in here for now. What do you reckon? Don't need this, do we? What are you trying to do? Um, uh, right, new date. Ooh, no, that was good actually. Crikey. Now, what are you thinking? <laughs> Michael, I'm just thinking. Right. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take away your keyboard now because uh, it's no, getting you're not. silly. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> No. Right. What? Well, why am I looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let let me just take over for a second because this is like this is tough. <laughs> yeah, I think go. we need. Uh, for some reason, whatever we've done has broken the CSS. So I don't think you can just remove remove this okay, clock. Uh, because as soon as we remove this clock, yeah, that basically yeah, does that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm back on it now. Okay. Yikes. No. <laughs> ID clock. Okay, now I know what it is. It's I this. think we've removed. Oh, hang on, you've just renamed a couple of CSS. Uh, you, you made that this digital. This has got to be a class. Okay, it's back. Okay. Okay, right. So now we need these. What, what, what for? Finding out the time from date. Say now dot hours and whatever. It's already there. Yeah, I know. That's what we've got, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you storing them in variables or what's up? Well, Michael, I haven't looked, sorted out oh. the whole thing I did. Oh, right? <laughs> One thing at a time. Okay. We have the variables in now import. Indeed. I'll yeah, Le Leanne is just like, her Her mind has run away on the tangent. No, it you, you can't stop the train. Like, uh, logo idea. Go, go on board. <laughs> okay. Leanne, forget about the time. We, we don't care about it. What do you mean? That's the entire no, point. No, no, right. We don't care about how to get the time. We we can do that. We uh, do. Console dot log. You can say now dot now dot seconds. Yeah. Let um, hours. Yeah. Equals equals new date. Hours. Seventeen. That is correct. A Monday. Yeah. Then look. If we. You just say now dot hours. Yes, I know. Oh. What? You have to put a. Yeah, but we haven't. It's not been. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a function. There you go. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I right. did. I said this. It's on tape. Right. Okay. <laughs> cool. There you go. So you can just do that now as a function dot hours. So we 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 can get the clock. Like, how do you dynamically move it? Right. How do you transform rotate? Yeah. The thing. What we're gonna do is this. We have. It's actually probably having the ID would help, although it's not a huge deal. ID equals our hand. Yeah. And then we're going to do here um, const our hand equals document dot get element by ID this our hand yeah oops our hand yeah dot style dot Transform. Ah. Um, transform rotate CSS, not CSS, in JS. Equals rotate. Okay, let's just nick this then for now. And... Yeah. Yes. I s That's not seven degrees. That is like ninety-three. Oh, yeah, make it forty-five. Okay, it it just starts. It just starts from uh, horizontal. So it's for the it basically it was it was seven, but you start at three o'clock. Why is it starting at three o'clock? Uh, I don't know because if you make it look, if you make it two seventy. That's your 12. Hey. Oh. And uh, if you make three, 360, that's... Okay, I think I know why. 
It's because oops. There's probably one here already. Um hand. Yeah, look, that's why. So if we comment out that line of code. That all of them turn to that. Because I think that's you uh, that's basically the default position of your rotation in CSS. It's everything is horizontal. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, you probably do want to start with two hundred and seventy. Oh, so probably that that's, is what this yeah. plus plus six business is. We need to pass the formula with now dot hours, says Jonathan. Hill. Yeah, so basically you have sixty seconds you have sixty seconds in a minute, but you have three hundred and sixty degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Like so, Dave Dave is saying here. It's two seventy because that's why the hint JS suggests using it in that calculation. Check to make sure the initial transform value is set to zero. It was not. Yeah. Okay, then. Anyway, so if we basically started. All right, so you do need to rotate it. Yeah, okay. Um, I can't believe people are still here. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I didn't turn the pink lights on. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I'm actually brain freezing right now as well. Now, what we got to do Ugh. is... You need to show the... Let sec deg equals zero. Let's get, like, let's, let's show some time. And then this, we're going to string interpolate this bad boy. Yeah. I just think you want to call it. Cool. We can refactor later. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. This dag. Yes. Dag dag. <laughs> dag dag. <laughs> okay. So now, hopefully, if I do um, ninety. Well, what? Which? Which? Uh, we're doing our hand. That's doing something, Michael. Look. Yeah. Go to Hinge.js and just grab that formula. Yeah. So now, yeah. Learn. If you design the hands to point straight up at, at 12 to start with, you can have a clean blank state for the transform value. Yeah, well, we could have done. It's too late for that now. <laughs> yeah. Just use some library, says Rohit. <laughs> Arguably, we could just, <laughs> just look at one use watch. a digital clock. <laughs> yes. Um, no, we didn't actually make this challenge. One of the yeah. Scrimba teachers made it. Brandon says as well, oh, same person, just design the hands to point up rather than pointing to the right. I feel like there's a reason why Ryan didn't do that, but I could be wrong. Anyway, well, it is what it is. What it, is. it is what it is. We're already 34 minutes in. Oh, my goodness. Right. Note that updating the transform style from CSS will reset. Yeah. Uh, other transform properties like translate, you need to put them in the JS also. Yeah. I thought the JS overwrites the CSS. Well, that, that's what he's saying, or she's saying. <laughs> that once you change it in JS, you have to change translate as well because it gets overwritten. That's what we want. Anyway, let's continue. Not necessarily translate. I've sort of got it working, but the formula seems to be beep. Else it's me, which is possible. Interesting. I see. Okay, right. So anyway. So let's show the hour hand. Can you go to hint.js? This is going to be our <laughs> deck. Okay, our deck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's go. Hmm? Hint.js. Yes, hint.js. Hours, there's the formula. Okay. But that's in. That's with seconds. So we need this. Well, he's basically saying with hours. Yeah, OK, whatever. Fair enough. It basically means that you're calculating fractionally literally every single time. But that's all right. It's not a problem. OK. Yeah, insert it. <laughs> Why are you so paranoid? Because it works. I don't want to let it go when it works, OK? Okay, now time is not defined. You basically say yeah because it, 
we got to get time from, from now. Hit. Yeah. Ding, doo, 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 doo. Let time. Eight root or minus equals now. Dun, dun, dun. Just now. Really? Yeah, because you're about oh, right, yeah. a second okay. later. Oh. That's pointing so, to five, Michael. That's pointing to five. It's, <laughs> it's pointing to five. <laughs> okay. In a world. Right. Okay. Uh, so that. So that. That's all this. We just need to do the same for the minutes, Michael. What are you doing? This is great. <laughs> Michael. What? Why okay. do we need to do this? We don't need to do this. Leanne, come down. We just need line 13. You, you will need to be calling these every second. Yeah, that's the what... Because well, the clock to move, it needs to be updated regularly. So I get that, to... but we're going to use stretch, well, not stretch interval, <laughs> uh, set interval for that, no? Huh? Set interval. Yes, yeah, so, but you need to update all of these hands separately. And, yeah. Anyway, that's... <laughs> Get ours. Uh, uh, look, uh, you were you were like tapping away, so now it's my turn to just uh, <laughs> write stuff. Stretch goal says Alana. Yeah. Add the clock numbers in their respective positions. Well, this is a minimalist clock. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah. Let, let's call it that. I mean, maybe. Whoops. There's a formula. Oh, okay. Get ours. Now, um... 70 people are watching. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's never happened before on a Friday. I probably shouldn't say that. I mean, we, well, basically what we need to do is, like, really come up with something painful. I think people love watching pain. Oh, that's, yeah, that's what it is, because this is painful. Um, I think it's all right. I want to quickly, to all of you here, we are from Scrimba, and yeah. that's a place where you can learn to code. Yes. People should remember that. If they say... Here it is, scrimba.com. If they talk to Leanne in the chat, she gets distracted. <laughs> and if you are new here, please put a rabbit in the chat. And if you've been before, please put a tiger. I'm very yeah. interested to see if you are bunnies or tigers. Yes. Yes. I'll leave that there for now. Okay, back to, oh, hold on, wait. No, 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 no. Michael, we got to save it. Right. <laughs> you got to save it. got to save it. Uh, okay, so that was the formula for, uh, so time and time, there we are. That should be, I think it's fair to say that this should be just deg. Should it? I think so. I think it should be deg. I, I think we should name them all. Oh, look, lots of bunnies in the chat. I think it should be min deg. Oh, uh, okay. I actually can see how we can refactor it a little bit later, but... Make it um, work first. Yeah, let's make it work first. Oh, lots of anyway, bunnies. This needs to be minute hand. Is it minute? Yeah, minute hand. And this is... Yeah, but we haven't grabbed them yet. Yeah. Um, Ooh, it should be second hand. Panda. Second hand. Hey. And let's grab this index. Uh, and then these degrees. There we are. Uh, get seconds, get minutes, get hours. And then you're saying that we need to... Ah. Do, 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 do. Minute. Afro Healer says, I'm watching because I could not figure it out. So I want to see how you would do it. Yeah, me cool. too. VK, love watching doing mistakes, which is absent in tutorials nowadays. Oh, well, if you like mistakes. You, oh, yeah, we've this. got plenty of those. Yeah. <laughs> Of those. That's I love our how, speciality. I love when uh, Moran said, like, prerequisite for this is basic of HTML and CSS, and I'm in my head, I'm like, well, bye. <laughs> That's me. Make time machine instead of what? I actually think at this point it might be easier. Make what? 
a time machine. <laughs> yeah, we need those IDs for, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, basically, we didn't really make it work, and we basically redone the whole challenge and solved it on our own. We haven't solved it yet. <laughs> well, yeah. We need to grab them for the um, uh, up top. Yeah. Oh, you've done that. Yeah, I really Have done you that. saved it? Have you saved the HTML? Well, I haven't uh, started the clock. Why is the hour hand working then? Oh, because that was already in there. Yeah. Oh. Seconds is not defined. Well. Seconds, what? Seconds. 931. 931. Oh, we haven't done that. All oh, right. Whoops. Time dot seconds. Yeah. Okay, so if I save that, uh, so what time is it now? 17.42 and whatever, so if I refresh that, oh, there you go, so it moves. Uh, so now... Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, Anna. <laughs> well, no, it's like, uh, so you, instead of calling it start clock, let's call it draw clock. Rando needs to leave now, but it was nice to watch. Looks like quite a difficult task. You are not kidding. Thanks so, for coming. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so we have a draw clock. There you go. Here's this function. And if we call it, it will draw a clock. So now we just need to call this function with a set interval every second. Moment. So just can you just do a quick Google how to do that? And let's please read the docs. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? Michael. This is my life. <laughs> what time must I do? Set interval. You want me to Google set interval? Let me just quickly Google. Uh, JavaScript. Call. I don't want to like set interval because what if there is a better way to do it? Call function every five seconds. Nice, that'll do. Interval. Didn't we do that last week? I'll do. Yeah. Cool. And every second, aka 1000 milliseconds. Yeah. Draw clock. Yay! Woo, 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 woo. Okay. That is amazing. So that, that works, but uh, what I've noticed is. Are you going to tell me it's like it loses a second every thousand years or something? Nah, well, maybe. <laughs> but uh, that's not for me to worry about. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are really clever people in the hardware and stuff and like browser developers and the rest of it who are going to think about this stuff for me. Anyway. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like Swiss watch level of accuracy. Yeah, well, Swiss watch level, they also lose time, don't they? Um, anyway, uh, there's basically this hour hand. Uh, yikes. What is it? Well, basically, it's like hour hand, minute hand, second hand, and we are basically changing the same. Uh, you want to refactor it? Well, yeah, yeah. Let's um, not. I think uh, we should no, do no, no, something wait, else, Michael. Wait, wait. But, oh, it's right here. I guess the will you can make it. Uh, ah, no way. Yes. Good enough. <laughs> yeah, fair Good enough. enough. Yeah, I well, just basically enough. wanted to play around, but I realized that actually, you know, no one, no one wants to watch that. That would be really painful. Anyway, can we actually now have, have, figure out how to move these arms to the base of the thing? Yes, we can. So instead of they're in the middle, so we can actually figure out how to translate them properly. But I don't think that needs to be done in here. I think we can just do it here. Oh, really? I think so. Um, in here, transform, whoops, origin. What did we do before? It was like 25%, I think. I think it was. Evidently not. 10? No. That's 10. It's, zero. it's got to be a percent, I think. 
Or oh, you can use words like bottom. Oh, there was like someone. Bottom right. <laughs> bottom left. How annoying. What are we actually trying to do here? We want to move it from that. So yeah, you want to move it. You want to move it from. From it's, I think we just moved from it the right. middle to the to the tip over here. So this bottom needs to be over here on the tip. Ah, they, 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 basically we had. A right bottom. Ah, okay. uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. You both are husband and wife. Yes, we are. Yeah. 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 Basically, our brother and sister now. It's all, you know, like... <laughs> really? I don't know, I never had a sister. I have a brother. <laughs> and you don't have any siblings. No. There you go. Uh, transform origin. Maybe I'll actually read the docs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was some kind person who actually told us, and it worked. Could you please yeah, well, Maybe it, it only worked with the position that it was currently in. Someone said bottom centre. Really? Bottom centre. All right then, let's give that a go. Semicolon. Okay. I don't think that will make a difference. Oh, okay. No. Do it for the hand class, and it will do all three hands at the same time. Oh, interesting. Do we want them all to be the same, though? Yeah. Mm. Comment out the. Uh, then. Yeah. Comment out it in, <laughs> in our hand, you still have that line. Well, that doesn't make any difference. It's just giving it the same thing again. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, I'm paranoid with CSS. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, in this case, you'll want transform origin left center or just bottom. <laughs> left center. Uh, cool. I think basically it's because we are working with some other. Actually, no, people work with the same CSS stuff as us. The same CSS? Yeah. Uh, we just did it. We did it at the beginning. We need to go back in our recording to have a look at it. How did, oh, there we are. How did we do that? Transform origin 25%. I tried that there, didn't I? Second hand. Well, let's just try it on the same one. That looks really weird now. Did it always look weird? Well, you have transform origin on our hand. Oh, that doesn't affect it. Now, can you go back to the, oh, God, the other one? This is a headache. Can you go back to the other but one? There's one on the hour hand, right? Okay. Yeah. And the translate should be before the back. rotate. Trans no, that matters, Michael. Translate should be before rotate. Dave is on point. Oh, that is a nightmare. Translate because should be before rotate. What does that mean? Wait, what? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare. What does that I mean? I thought he meant the origin should be before. On the second hand, transform, we have rotated, but we've done 25. No, I think he's saying this, look. How does that make any difference? Not rotate, transform. Oh, I think, I think I've got the syntax wrong. Transform origin. Anyway, let's go to this one. Hey, no, no. <laughs> it, what? Okay. It, yeah, you need to combine them into one thing. Ah, uh, no, the separate. But wait, wait, we're not using translate, are we? <laughs> are you doing a translate? <laughs> I don't think we are. Are we? Ah, okay. Hand. Hell, what? 
Okay. Translate 50%. What if you delete that? Yeah. Nothing. Hi, that's good. <laughs> Is it though? Yeah, so now if you add that transform origin. Okay. You're using translate on the hand class. Yes. No anymore. No anymore. To target all the hands, we need to use the hand class. Okay. Minute hand dot style transform equals rotate hands deck translate fifty percent. Ah, right. so he. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. That kind of makes sense. So here and here and here, we gotta do trans. The, the outside of outside of it. Outside of what? Outside of the the brace. No, it isn't. It is. It's your your right hand inside of rotate brace. Yeah. 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 Translate. Yeah. And then fifty percent close. Oh. Yes. Oh wow. Woo! Somebody give that guy a medal. I think that's already the second beer that I went to Tom. Yeah. So there you are. Woo, what a relief. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Ah, uh, the translate needs to go first and also be added to the JavaScript transform. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it's because. Why does it have to go first? Um, Probably that's just the syntax. But the issue is any style you set with JavaScript, I think becomes it. A, effectively it becomes like an inline style, which mm. then overwrites the styles from a separate oh, CSS sheet. I believe. Yes. And I just Brandon, posted my solution in Discord weekly challenge. Brandon says, but the other way around, translate needs to be first the two commas down. It's working, so I'm not going to touch it. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> yeah. sure. I'm not sure why Why does it matter the order of the functions? Well, we'll look it up in I a mean, minute. I mean, it's, it's CSS, but there we are. has done it. This is what Dave has done. Wait, 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 wait. Look at it go. Yeah. Speechless. <laughs> oh, well, so he's actually, uh, hang on, so what did he do with those IDs? Oh, uh, he, he's written them in. Oh, he actually used, like... He's, he's, used, he's written in, like, inline style. You see. Crumbs. Oh, blimey. That was, that was quite something. Use the hand glass. What for? I think that's a Never delay. Mind. I think that's a delay. <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a medal and an elbow cuff. We're like 10 or 15 seconds apart. Yeah. All right. Hello. Not needed first, but your inline transform is overriding transform property. Indeed. Yes, that yeah. is what happened. Ooh, okay then. So we can tick. <laughs> can imagine that if someone is watching us with like 15 minute delay, this would be really frustrating. <laughs> someone on the ISS watching this. <laughs> Wire up our and minute hands. Oh, Done. Boy. Wire up a second hand. Oh, wow. Okay. Done. Done. I actually think we can do this one, Michael. Can we? I think we can. Oh, I've, I've lost the will to live. Oh, that's actually not ours. Hold on. All right, I'm going to be very careful here. <laughs> Moving this. Okay. Why don't you just close it? Uh, because it might be the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is ours, isn't it? No, yeah. yeah. And we don't want this, no. do we? We don't need any of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, close, close, close. So now, open a new page. This is quite funny because normally I am the one who hoards garbage. You know, in, mm. in the shed, in the garage, that, that's my business. Yeah. But when it comes to closing tabs, 
Leanne doesn't do closing tabs. That's not true. I always close <laughs> tabs. You're the one that's got a billion tabs open. Thank you, John. Anyway, moving on up. Yeah. We are going to have under here. Uh, yeah. Give plus equals date. Date. Yeah. And then close div. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Date. Height. 50 pixels. Width. Shouldn't it be like in line something? Not additive symbols. It's never additive symbols. I don't think anyone in the history of CSS has used additive symbols. Oh, we actually looked at that once. Do you remember where it was? <laughs> I remember not understanding it. Back <laughs> yeah. Background white. Okay. Let's give it margin 1M. Border radius. I've just realized this actually shouldn't have been done like this. This should be a P. Okay. Yeah, which oops, would mean. Okay, we'll leave it like that, like that for now. But how do you overlay it over the clock? I don't necessarily want to. Oh, I see, okay. Can okay. We like an underneath part. Okay. Ooh, interesting question from Brandon. How do you get the syntax highlighting on your Google results? Yeah. What? Generate random number JS. Referring to this, this is a really cool extension called Grepa. Yeah. And then you can save the answers and you can upvote them. And yeah, it shows it to you like this. Very good. Oh, wow. Recommended by Jose. Yes. Thank you, Jose. Need. Is this ours? Yes. Why is it not working? It's in the other tab. So this is not ours then? You've saved it for some reason. I opened it separately. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, done that. Okay. See, I told you, just close, close down the tab. Okay, cool. Ooh, very welcome. Hey, yes. Well, you've got all of the, what's it? Ah. Oh. Draw clock is already a function. You can remove the function at set interval. Will it affect the overall clock? Interesting. What? This function here. Do we need it? Oh, yeah. I suppose you can just say draw clock. Uh, yeah, you can just part. I think you can, yeah. Yeah, I think if you just do. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Pass it like that. Yeah, I think if you do that, yeah. 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 <laughs> what do I win? Wow, you've already won the weekly web dev challenge once or twice. Oh, there you go. Okay. It's six o'clock. Bye bye. New status. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Right. Anyway, well, we've got to finish this. Yes. HTML says, uh, you've just made. Oh, yeah. So P with a class of date and an ID equals date. Yes. And then we're going to do this date, date, and then um, I'm going to delete this. Oh. Function get date. Um, Date dot text content equals twenty two oh six twelve. <laughs> <laughs> that has not worked. Oh, the reason it hasn't worked is because I need to do something here. Ooh, blow up. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I haven't actually run it. Yeah. Yes. So now... How do you display text in, in the middle of that? We'll worry about that in a minute. We've got to get the date from... Ooh, uh, yeah. Time is now. So we need this. You won't, you won't get it from 
That that's just that now function is just the utility function. So. <laughs> well, you can. Yeah, I can. I can get it there. Look, the time now, and then. Um, okay. But it doesn't accept any argument, Len. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. It doesn't accept any arguments. It's just now, and you get the properties. That's all. So what you can do is you can probably... No, you, no, no, Michael, you can get it with date. I know you can. Well, let's, let's I tried just... it earlier. Len, why? It's there, look. Time.getFullYear is what we need. That's what we need. Okay. Yeah, so you can just... Yeah, you, don't date, need, yeah, no, no. you don't need the now. You can just use the new date JavaScript stuff. Okay, so probably don't really need that, do I? No. Can do this, and then... Um, crumbs. What is it? Dollar uh, squiggly brackets. What do I want a dollar for? To interpolate. Why? What do you mean? Then you just write new date inside. You just write new date. Uh, two words. New date. Hmm. Okay, let's see what that does. Okay, Rue, that has worked. You probably want to call that? No. Why? Good. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to change it because really we only want the day, the month. Yeah. And the date and the year, these yeah. ones. So I'm going to look up JavaScript date. Uh, you want this? I think you want to specify format. Yeah, it's these. Okay. Yes. Get I, date. I know that what was I'm a, doing. That was there was a method called get date, and I should tell you. Really? Uh, get date. Yeah, well, that just gets you the ah, day of the does. month. Oh, I have a look. So this is what I want Man, to do. read the docs. Maybe there is already what you want. I've already read the docs earlier on. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> see. Get day. <laughs> I can't believe you just played a fart sound. It wasn't a fart sound. It's a balloon sound. It says on the on the board, on the, on your little board, it says fart. It says, <laughs> it says balloon. <laughs> it's so childish. <laughs> Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crikey. Right, date dot get date, no? Yes. Uh, you need to call it. Oh, maybe not. No, okay, fair enough. No, I think I do. Okay, so then this is going to be day, I think. Get date is not a constructor. Read, uh, read the docs. <laughs> you, you need to call new date, and then on that, you call these methods. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do it like that. Yeah. And you have now number three. Yeah, 3rd of September. It's not. Oh, it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can. Month. Okay, and uh, Len, no. this is, this is uh, look, when you are like repeating yourself like that, it's really silly because it, uh, <laughs> it can't be, it can't be like that. There must be, there must be a better way. There must be a better way. Uh, so JavaScript day. There you go, European format. Ah, uh, oh, what? You can't actually. How do I get current form to date in JavaScript? 2014. Uh, oh, there we go, 2019. Oh, that's a little bit closer. What? You can't actually get that in JavaScript like that. 
Oh, there we go. Uh, two ISO string. New date, two ISO string. I should do it. So, uh, what was that? Yeah. Let's clean this up a bit. New date. Two. I mean, you can probably just call two date string. Hey. There we are. Interesting. Two ISO string. Okay. Yeah. We want the other one. Two date string goes better. Yes. There and then. See, I told you, like, as soon as you start <laughs> doing into these splitting dates and assembling things together, it's like <laughs> there must be a better way. There must be a function that's already done. Like, what, you think, like, thousands of people, like, waste their time <laughs> constructing these things again and again? On to date, we will do display flex. Yep. Uh, align items. Center. Yep. And then justify content. Center. Lovely. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Very much. Thank you very much. Right. Done and dusted. Brilliant. Yeah, amazing. Wow, that was eventful, wasn't it? Oh, Michael? I know. I know. Incredible. Oh, well, thanks for coming, everyone, and tolerating us. That was really quite, oh no, <laughs> quite something. And if you enjoyed this, hit subscribe. We. Oh yes. We do this every Friday. And usually, it's for the current <laughs> weekly web dev challenge. Yeah. We torture ourselves every Friday evening for your entertainment. Yeah. This is the current weekly web dev challenge, but we did this last week. But if you would like to have a go, please yeah. do. And then your entries will be loaded onto here. Well, it's not normally this slow. Okay. <laughs> 49 at the moment. Who yeah. will be the 50th? Exciting. And while I'm here, I will give you a shameless plug for my own YouTube channel. <laughs> here it is, Code with Leanne. <laughs> these cringe sounds. Oh, man. These, these cringe sounds. Out. Yes. So there we are. We have done it. <laughs> Hello. There you go. Hey. Wow. Amazing. An hour has gone already. I know. Thank you for coming. And Hope to see you again next week. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I haven't finished. Wait. <laughs> Join us on Monday, 5 p.m. BST. BST. <laughs> BST, UK time. Yeah. We will be looking at all of these submissions and selecting a winner. Ooh, I am 50. You are 50? Congrats. Today? Yeah. Nice. You did great. I couldn't even code a diff with 70 people watching. Yeah. 70 people are watching? 80 at one point. Really? Yeah, I know. Wow. Taken off. Huge thanks. And thank you too. And we will see you next week for some more coding fun. Yeah. Bye for now. See ya.